If you're out on the road where you lead, I will follow any anywhere that you tell me to. If you're new, I'm Harriet and I'm so excited. This week I'm dressing up as all of my favorite Gilmore Girls characters. Full disclosure, I could literally do this for a month, like a new outfit every day and still not be done because this is just the most iconic TV series. I've been re-watching it. I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to show you these outfits and also tell you my thoughts on the show because I could talk about this forever. So today is Sunday and to kick this off, we absolutely have to do a Lorelai Gilmore look. I'm actually gonna dress up as her twice this week because she just has so many iconic outfits. So when she's strolling around Stars Hollow, she loves a good puffer jacket. She loves to layer, you know, a big coat over a little zip up, nice jeans. She loves a weird hat. She's always holding a coffee. That's the energy we're channeling in this first Lorelai Gilmore outfit. Lorelai Gilmore has entered the chat. I thought this outfit was gonna be way cuter, actually. It's quite ugly, but I do feel like I nailed the brief. I have almost the exact same jacket as her, which is why I decided to recreate this outfit. It's very casual. We're just kind of strolling through Stars Hollow. And I just feel like I'm channeling the, the Lorelei energy today. Got some heels on, cause she loves a pair of heels. Got my coffee cup that's empty. Can you come and ask me if I have any rooms available? Hey Lorelei. Hello. It's a kind man. Is there any rooms available? Why, yes. At the Independence Inn, there are lots of rooms available today. Oh, how good for me. I would like one, please. Okay, let me see what I can do for you. And that's a wrap. <laughs> that is Gilmore Girls. Um, recreated <laughs> by me and Ethan. I feel like Lorelai is everyone's favorite character. She's very fun and she's just like a very cool mum. And I do like her, but I will say I find her very annoying um, most of the time. And also she's very, very selfish. Don't take it personally if you're like obsessed with her, okay? But she will constantly go into Luke's diner take up the whole diner, stop him from running his business. And Luke's like, babe, I'm running a business here. Get the fuck out of my diner. I just feel like a lot of her actions are very selfish and she doesn't often think a lot about other people, but she is a very good mom and I love their relationship. Good morning. It is Monday. Happy Monday. My least favorite day of the week. But I'm very excited for today's outfit slash character. I actually wanted to be surprised because I believe it is truly iconic. So here we go. Here's the transformation. Three, two, one. Lala. Who is she? Lala. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a scene, ready? I had sex, but I'm not going to Harvard. Did I sell you guys on it? I'm Paris Geller as she's having her nervous breakdown. I am not going to Harvard. I had sex, but I'm not going to Harvard. It is literally like one of my favorite scenes of the entire show. Obviously my hair is very impractical for a day of work, which today is Monday and I do have work today. So I'm probably gonna make this like a nice neater ponytail at some point. But this is the fit. Later in the day, I'm gonna change into a Paris preppy Paris look because this is not like her entire personality. I just feel like we all need to appreciate how how hard I went on this look. Um, very stoked to have owned a pink sweater that looks a bit similar to hers. I'm about to start work and I obviously changed so I wanted to show you guys Paris's after her breakdown. She's at Yale, she's thriving, she's on the Yale daily team. This is that look. This is probably slightly more modern than something Paris would actually wear. She does wear a lot of suit pants, but they're definitely not high-waisted. They are low-waisted, but I don't have anything low-waisted. She also does wear a lot of turtlenecks and a lot of blazers, but again, the colors are just things that I own. So I feel like I've captured the essence of Yale Daily Paris, but maybe not. I didn't like have an inspiration photo that I absolutely nailed for this one. Definitely keen to work in this one today. I feel like I'm channeling some real like 
girl boss boss babe queen queenie boss boss babe energy today and i'm honestly kind of living for it when paris is first introduced i feel like we all collectively hated her i mean she literally like bullied rory but Paris is one of my favorite characters. She is so funny. She definitely has the funniest lines. I feel like Rory and Lorelai try really hard to be funny, whereas Paris is just so funny from like existing. She doesn't know how funny she is. Um, and I just love her. I think she's very complicated. She's got a really good backstory. Her character just makes sense to me. And yeah, I honestly really love her. I'm just gonna get started with work and channel my Paris Geller energy. Hopefully I can be super productive today. Good morning, it is Tuesday. I also have work today. So today I'm dressing up as Rory Gilmore. Now Rory, in my opinion, her style is like a lot of swings and a lot of misses. I think Lorelai actually dresses cute quite a lot of the time. Rory, I'm not a huge fan of her style, but an outfit that I've always been absolutely obsessed with is actually her outfit in the pilot. If you guys have seen it, you'll know, but it's like this massive cream jumper that it's basically a dress, honestly. And it's just such a cute look. So I'm very excited to try and recreate that right now for work today. So let's do it. <laughs> okay, well, I thought that I was gonna nail this actually because I knew that Ethan had a cream jumper. For some reason, I envisioned this jumper going down to like here on me, but it doesn't. I will say though, I think this is actually quite a cute outfit. I have some docks on because it looked like she was wearing something similar to docks in the outfit. She was definitely wearing dark wash, kind of baggy, like boot cut jeans. And then obviously the jumper is the star of the show, which happens to be the part that I kind of messed up. I feel like I channeled the energy, but I didn't quite get it perfect. Is it lame for me to sign on to work today with a backpack on? <laughs> a backpack on and nowhere to go. Before I get started with work, I thought we could quickly chat about Rory. Um, I quite like Rory actually. I think she is just a very, very sweet person. She is a really nice character, honestly, up until she sleeps with Dean when he's married. Obviously, that's a massive oversight on her part. She just has terrible taste in men, actually. I don't like anyone she, she dates, really, so. Good morning, it's a Wednesday, and I'm honestly a little bit terrified for today's outfit because I need to go to the grocery store and I will be wearing this outfit out of the house, um, which during lockdown is very rare. This outfit is going to be ugly. Today I am dressing up as Dean. This is my inspo for the day. Weirdly, all of the men on Gilmore Girls are obsessed with like wearing 5,000 layers. Like I don't understand. I think it was just an early 2000s thing, but like they'll wear two t-shirts, a long sleeve, a vest. Like it just makes zero sense. So I'm gonna try and replicate this kind of vibe as best as I can. I'm gonna go find an outfit and when I see you, I will be dressed up as Sexy Dean. This is legitimately the ugliest outfit I've ever worn in my entire life. Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have done making Gilmore Girls outfits cute because I wouldn't have to leave the house looking like this. Um, but anyway, this is the fit. So we have a purple t-shirt under a gray long sleeve, very on brand for Dean. And then obviously the massive leather jacket. This is like his whole personality trait is this leather jacket. I've got brown jeans on. He is more of a fan of khaki like colored jeans, but I don't own any of those. Can't imagine why not. So I chose brown and then I put on some dad sneakers. Honestly, I never see his feet, so I don't know what kind of shoes he wears. I'm probably gonna tie my hair up to look a bit more masculine, but yeah, straight up, this is the ugliest outfit I've ever worn out of the house. Fit check. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dean. Welcome to Dosey's Market. How can I help you? I'm such a fucking loser, I swear to God. If you're out on the road, feeling lonely and so cold. Happy Thursday. Today, we're dressing up as Lane. I'm very excited. I love Lane Kim. She's a queen. We'll talk about that later. So Lane typically wears a lot of t-shirts with long sleeves underneath, um, a lot of like 
I love Jesus vibe stuff, denim jackets, her glasses, and she wears her hair in like fun little hairstyles. So let's see what I can pull together. I am hoping I can do this one justice. Guys, I snapped on this one. Are you ready? Hello, my name is Elaine Kim. So let me explain my thought process, okay? Because we have a lot to unpack here. Firstly, obviously I'm wearing glasses. Lane's glasses are a lot smaller than mine, but I just don't have any that look like that. You might notice that I'm wearing a t-shirt that says friends, not food. Now, <laughs> Lane is not a vegan activist, okay? But Lane always has to wear a really like you know, Jesus vibe t-shirt. The most famous one being her yellow shirt that says, trust God. This for me is the equivalent of wearing a trust God t-shirt. It just, it's very loud. It gives me the same feeling that I think Lane would get, which is like, oh my God, I don't want to go out in public in this. And then I've obviously got a red long sleeve shirt underneath because that's very on brand. She loves crazy colors. Just got some jeans and then some Converse. So this is the Lane, you know, at home look. But then the second that she gets to school, can you guys tell how proud I am? Okay, so this is a Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Lane would definitely not be caught dead wearing a Backstreet Boys t-shirt. I'm not cool enough to own like an ACDC, whatever she would listen to kind of t-shirt. Um, so Backstreet Boys it is. But I feel like I nailed the vibe, okay? The double shirts, the jeans, the backpack, the hair. I don't know about you, but I'm giving myself a 10 out of 10 on this one. I feel like the brief was nailed. Also, if it was winter in Stars Hollow, she would wear it with a jean jacket. Um, but I don't want to cover up the glory that is this part of the outfit, so... Can't wait to sit at home all day again and wear this. Sorry that I haven't been out much. I'm literally just in lockdown. So I don't like, there's no point in me leaving my house unless I have to. I also just realized that the vegan shirt is actually very on brand because Mrs. Kim is obsessed with tofu. Let's talk about Lane. Um, she's definitely one of my favorite characters. I think she's so cool. She's someone I would be friends with if she was real. I'm a bit sad though about her plot. I don't know if anyone else feels this way. I just feel like they didn't need to go where they went with her. I feel like she was so passionate about music and then obviously this big life change happens to her. I just don't know that she deserved that. Let me know your thoughts though. I'm curious to know if I'm the only one. Happy Friday, TGIF today. We are going masculine again. We are dressing up as Jess. Okay, Jess's outfits are rogue, but you don't notice that they're rogue because he constantly wears dark colors. And only until I saw this outfit did I realize how confusing his style is. Like, sorry, are we wearing a short sleeve t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt, and a puffer vest all together. Like, is that the amount of layers that we're going for? So let's dress up as the bad boy of Stars Hollow, Jess Mariano. Oh, you probably didn't even know it was me because I look so much like Jess. I do feel like I kind of nailed this outfit though. I don't know about you guys. We have a gray t-shirt, black long sleeve, puffer jacket of course baggy black jeans i did vans i don't know again like you never see these people's feet so i don't know what kind of shoes he would wear but i feel like he'd be kind of like a vans dude this outfit is definitely less ugly than dean's but i still don't i'm not thriving in this i'm not like totally embarrassed to wear this out of the house though so that's a good thing i'm gonna take this for a little walk around the block because my favorite thing about jess is the way that he walks like he just sulks he just walks around the town like this like he's just always so angry and like grumpy and sad so i'm very excited to go and like sulk together so come along let's go and be mad at some people I feel like we can all agree that Jess is just an asshole, especially in the beginning. He's so rude. He's rude to Lorelai, and I feel like if someone's rude to your mum, that's like the ultimate bad sign. He's rude to Luke. I know he's had a bit of a traumatic upbringing, but like, I just don't like the vibes that radiate from him. And then he completely is just like the worst with Rory. Like, he dumps her, leaves without an explanation, then comes back, says, I love you. Sorry, that construction is so loud. He's just 
figuring it out and I respect that, but at the same time, don't put other people through your bullshit. Happy Saturday. It is the last day. I have literally had so much fun filming this. It's a really gray day today and I'm feeling a little bit tired, so not much going on. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But I'm very excited for this last look. I'm just gonna let it speak for itself and you will see Lorelai Gilmore round two in three, two, one. I nailed this outfit. Oh my God, when you Google Lorelai Gilmore outfits, this is one of the first ones that comes up. Let me paint a picture. It's Rory's first day of Chilton. Lorelai slept in, she slept past her alarm. She has to drive Rory into school. She has no clean clothes, so she has to go to this bougie ass school in this outfit. What? Nothing, I just didn't know the rodeo was in town. She's wearing like cowboy boots, denim shorts, a pink top. She tries to cover up using her coat, but then her mum makes her take her coat off and it's the secondhand embarrassment is truly real. Um, I feel like I kind of slayed this one. It is so gross and rainy outside, so I'm not going outside, thank God. Do you really think I would have left the house in this outfit anyway? Like, let's be real. Subscribe for that.